So I'm in the development environment here, and I'm going to start with an estimate transaction or a quote in this environment. I want to start in the middle of the action, um, which is typically how things are done. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a Marty project, and I'm going to make up a project name here. This is not list here. I'll call it the 2017-06-23-1, or just one project. And I'm not going to look from this list here, but these are previous ones that I've done. I'm going to leave it alone because it's meant to be hands-off. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab an item, grab 10 of those, hit save on that. A nice simple one, a couple things we want to see. So now we can see that um, we now have a new PRI project, Marty Zygman, Marty Zygman, which is just a funny formatting of my name. And there's the name that I gave for the title, for the colon there, all is good. Notice there is no opportunity because it didn't meet our parameter setting of 10,000, right? So we're going to play with that a little bit. We want to make it nice and big. Right, so let's go ahead and order um, uh, 10 of these. Cool. Okay, and I'm gonna hit add on this. And now I'm gonna hit save on this, the whole idea being we're supposed to be hands-free relative to the project. And now the good news is I created one here and you'll notice my opportunity has been created because it broke the threshold of the size of the opportunity. Let's go to the opportunity and have a look. We go to the opportunity. We now have the project all referenced here, which is really good. That's what we want. And I think under qualifications, we see our quotes. Here's the quote down below. So it's nice and connected. Everything's nice and connected. Uh, let's go over to back to our quote and let's go ahead and make a sales order out of that. Could be a little bit of confusion in here in the sense that we have the native project, which wouldn't show, so we should be hiding that. But So there we go. We got our project in the set. Now let's drill into our project just to take a look at this. The project has basic kind of information here about the customer, its title, and, and we also have some information here. Here's the transactions that are related to it, right? And clearly this record can be very much enhanced. We will go over coordination in a second. Carl, can you still hear me? Because my battery's about to die on the... Uh, on my headset. You can't hear me. Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm going to change to a different mic because I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. So this is good. This is what we're looking for. We can clearly enhance the project to have more stuff, but we wanted to illustrate that these are all connected. Now, I'm going to go into a sales order. I'm going to go straight to a sales order. The way we've got this is all of them show up, right? But we really have to choose a customer first, right? Yes. So if I pull up a customer first, now the list is shortened to the ones that are already there. I don't have to reference it, but if I want to, I can. So I'll go ahead and do this one here. I can reference it and I'm going to add a line. Right. Okay. And commit. Okay. Okay. Good. Now it, it should it reference the same one. And if we go yep. into the group itself, into the project under transactions, we can see it referenced an old opportunity and it referenced a new sales order, okay? So that's the way we can connect different kinds of transactions together. That's about it for projects. Now what I wanna talk about is the coordination. So we have the concept of the coordination over here, which we can work on when it pops up, whatever we want it to show, but right now it's keeping it nice and simple. And we also have it down here at the line, okay? I think it gets more interesting if we go out back to this project, go and notice we have coordination across multiple things here. So I'm gonna go right here to this opportunity. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and create a quote and I'm gonna add more lines. I wanna make this a little more complicated and I'm gonna add the A350 again. We'll add A352 there. And let me give me one more. Okay, and that's enough for that. And commit, because so I want to show some of the power of this. Notice I got more lines. Still got my 86 for the header, and it lines down here. And then I want to take and create a sales order from that. And notice what happens as it comes over. The coordination lines come with it. You know what, just to make it even more complicated, right, Carl? You need to worry about it, here we go. Okay, so this is really good. And notice now we have this other line, okay? So 
we can we can see some things that are kind of interesting here. We can go over to the main line. Now this is interesting. The project task, this looks good. Notice one of the things it does is it shows all the related transactions. So the way this works is this transaction here will show everything but opportunities. It's just the way NetSuite shows relationships. And any references, if there's multiple references, will show here. These ones over here is the very last reference. All the status information has no logic around it now, but we will build logic as we try to get it into Steve's account. And notice we have this concept over here is, is this a header? Likewise, on a project task level, we got the concept of showing all the related uh, lines that may be connected to it at the task level. That gives us the option, if we want to look at it that way, mimics what we're seeing on the sales work. But if we drill down into one of these, right, we can actually look at it from this perspective, right? And here we're looking at now a detail line because it is parent and parent is off. It's got a pointer to the to the header. And this is all just trying to create um, connections for us to work with. Uh, also, the information came over from the underlying item itself. OK, and the delivery dates and so forth, all that stuff is coming over from the, uh, the original line and then allows us to be modifying that information and so forth. Now, what interesting thing here is if we go back out to the sales order and I say, oh no, this is not the right sales rep. We want a different sales rep. I say, no, 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 we're really going to give it to Chris Brady for whatever reason. Hit save. Chris Brady. Now, if I go over to here, let me see if it pops up. Maybe I show the salesperson. Uh, Chris Brady. Yep, looks good. And over here, Chris Brady. Okay, that's great. Uh, likewise, just because we have the project, the project gives us a very special view. Now let's go over to the project and show some interesting things here. The transaction has two sales orders, an opportunity and a quote. However, coordination is interesting because it's showing two headers because we have two sales orders and related lines. All the connections are there back to where the and underlying transactions are. Notice we have different salesmen and so forth, depending on the situation that are with, with the real use in, in the environment, right? We don't have salesmen over here at the project and all this other stuff. We, there's definitely things we can do to make things look, but this is just the basic structure of trying to show that the project now shows all the coordination across the entire project project showing across multiple kinds of transactions. Great. And we can get the filters out and we can say, let, let's look at that Chris, who was it? Chris Brady, all of his. Mm -hmm. There we are. Right. And we can change the statuses on the lines, which is great. Right. And they can yes. say, oh yeah, the delivery date is due, you know, here, but all that goodness is available. Right. For statuses. So we're definitely going to need to work through our state machines and so forth if we want special logic there. But um, and we can really dial this in. But notice we are only really able to edit the pieces that are right. We're really not supposed to edit the item description and stuff because that's coming to the related item. So, Carl, I think this is good.